Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2024. This is, of course, my first grocery haul of the year. And I am just so grateful our celebrations have officially ended. Last week, we we closed up our celebration season with both New Year's and then my daughter's birthday. And by her birthday every year, even though I try my best to prepare well ahead, um, I am so tired. I am so tired. But uh, her cake turned out really well and her birthday was really good. She was happy with it. I um, was just tired. And then yesterday I did end up putting all of Christmas and the birthday decorations. I took them down. I put them away. It took me till about 930 at night, but I thought to myself, you know, I rather just push through and do it this week versus next week once work starts again and all the kids busy schedules. I just think it's easier on me to do it now. And so we did that. So now our house outside of the lights and stuff are outside. It is, um, is cleaned up, which I know is probably pretty late compared to most people, especially those who take it down Boxing Day. All right, today I have... Hey! <laughs> My middle man with me. Fenix is here, uh, so I promised him I would keep this aspect of the grocery trip short and sweet so i'm gonna keep my promise to you good ready ready to head in Benix? yeah yeah we are going to conquer real canadian superstore and costco on a saturday but we it is 11 o'clock right now so we're beating the main rush we already went to shoppers drug mart and to save on and also for him mcdonald's for some breakfast which i had to pay for yeah he paid for it with gift cards but you have a lot of money in gift cards so that's okay but I told him I'd probably take him out for lunch at Costco, so. Wow! <laughs> okay, everyone, I will show you what I purchased. Or Benny's are shaking the video. Whatever. <laughs> this, uh, I'll start off with what I purchased for Nevaeh for her birthday and some groceries leading up to it and then take resume the scheduled grocery haul with what we purchased today. Say bye, Benix. Don't be rude. I'm not saying bye. I'm turning it off. All right, this is my midweek shop and I picked up more items than I planned to because if I spend $100 by today, I would get 20,000 points, which is $20 to use in the future. So I looked at my grocery list, found some items um, that I could pick up today instead of two days from now to collect that 20,000 points. All right, starting off, Gingerbread Toast Crunch. My kids really enjoyed this. This is now on special for 94 cents per box, limit of 12, and I picked up six. I want to try some new chickpea recipes this uh, this winter season. Uh, so I picked up three cans of those, and then I needed some more freezer bags. Ibuprofen, my hands um, have been really hurting lately, so just overworked, so I picked up more of that. Snack bags. Then, for some reason, I am craving beets, pickled beets. I know, most people find these pretty gross, but I like them. I uh, got one jar of those. Then, for some fruit, carton of strawberries, some bananas, and pink lady apples, because I'm not going to make the trip out to the market this week. Two cartons of chicken broth, six packages of ramen, and then one 16 package of the school uh, and work yogurts. My daughter, for her birthday, she wants grilled cheese for lunch. So I picked up some Texas toast, some triple berry sorbet to go with her birthday cake. She would like baked spaghetti uh, for her birthday dinner. So I have the Alfredo. I just needed to pick up some of the um, Italian sausage sauce to go with it. I needed some eggs for her birthday cake because I'm completely out. And I also needed more butter um, for all the the buttercream frosting for her cake. Thank God for Costco. This was on special for $7.50. Normally this is $8 where Costco is $5.50 for theirs. Uh, I picked up some more of the Armstrong ham and cheese sticks. Grape juice for my daughter's birthday. And then last but not least, some Doritos to go with our chili that we will be having for dinner tonight. All together, this came to $105. Okay, here we are to today's shop. 
fridge and freezer products, starting with Costco. I'm gonna try out this Kirkland Greek yogurt um, lunch containers, just to see if they're a little bit creamier than the other like Activia brands. Then I also picked up a three carton uh, of Greek yogurt to go with some smoothies. I haven't picked this up since the summer. Two of the four liter 2% milks, one butter, one old cheddar brick, and then for sandwich, cheese Havarti was on sale for $10. The cheese strings were also on sale for $11. We picked up one package of chicken strips. Um, can't remember the price, they're expensive. And just under $11 is the flat of extra large eggs. Then from Real Canadian Superstore, to go with that Greek yogurt for smoothies, I picked up one package of the mango strawberry peach blend. They were on sale for $3. I'm going to try out um, the silk oat coconut. I wanted just oat, but I couldn't find it without vanilla. So I'm gonna try the oat coconut half and half just to see how it goes with my coffee. Oops, there goes my chicken. Then for my husband, some rice pudding. He likes those, those were two for $8. And then one package or container of Asiago. This was on sale for $6. Well, this sucks. Look what I just found in my fridge. I totally forgot that I purchased what I just showed you before this shopping trip. The yogurt, the yogurt I got from Superstore. But I'm just gonna switch it up because this best before is January 24th and this one is February 7th. So it won't go to waste. It just means <laughs> my fridge is extra full. And also look at the milk. I have just a bit of that one, but a full one. So now I'm gonna have three full milks in my fridge. And the frustrating thing is, as I said to myself, I'm like, okay, note to self, do not pick up two milks. Just. <laughs> just one today and I should have written on my list as soon as I recognized it because as you can see I totally forgot all right carry on with the produce lots of produce this week I got this 20 pound bag of naturally imperfect potatoes for nine dollars so I like I said many times I don't want 20 pounds but it's cheaper to buy the 20 pound than the 10 pounds so uh <laughs> I'm going to be making um, some veggie based breakfast burritos for my husband for uh, on his working days. So we'll use up these potatoes. They'll be put to good use. And I also picked up this medley of the baby potatoes, um, a medley of uh, little cherry tomatoes, some naturally perfect avocados. This package uh, was sold for $7.00. Iceberg lettuce, two crowns of broccoli. The broccoli was, it cost um, $1.97 this week. A large bag of cucumbers. So what, two, three, four, five, eight. Eight cucumbers, $8. Such a good price. And then naturally imperfect peppers, they were on sale for just under $6. Bananas, um, 68 cents a pound. Uh, lemons, I got two lemons and two limes. They are both 99 cents each. One three pack of garlic, 88 cents. It was on sale. Salary <laughs> was on sale. The sale price is $3. Just ridiculous to me. I still can't go over how much salary costs these days. Okay, onions, uh, $3 for a bag. And then from Costco, picked up some kiwi, $10 a package. Another pineapple, they're so good right now. At $5.50 per pineapple, and then some more romaine lettuce, just under $7. From Save On Foods, this week I picked up some of the pineapple sparkling water. It has gone up to $5 a case. Then from Real Canadian Superstore, some Coca-Cola. And for cereals, two boxes of the Life brand. You can see that there. They were on sale for $3.33. Then oatmeal crisp, a family size for $4. Honey Nut Cheerios were actually cheaper than the President's Choice um, box because it's not on sale this week and the Honey Nut Cheerios is. So pick this up for $5.40. Then for $3.33, the Captain Crunch and the Quaker Oat Squares were both on sale, so those will go well together. And then I picked up one box of Corn Flakes. It's a huge box. 600 grams and it was on sale for five dollars i'm going to mix that up with a lot of the um 
uh, gingerbread crisp cereal that I picked up this week. All right, trail mix completely out. So 550 for the classic. Then for crispers, I went with barbecue and dill pickle. They were two for $5. Crispy minis were on sale for just over $2. Went barbecue. Uh, I picked up some more stir fry noodles, soya sauce, salsa, and olives. I want to be making some um, Greek salads, so I thought some black olives would be nice with it. Two more cans of chickpeas. I saw this recipe for butter chicken. Well, butter chicken, but instead of the chicken, you put chickpeas. And uh, we're gonna try that tonight. I'm hoping it tastes good. One more can also of black beans. Then a bunch of ingredients I have never purchased before because I wanna make, there's a chickpea salad, but then there's also um, the seven grains salad. And I've never made before and I really hope it's good because boy, I had to hunt for all these ingredients. So whole mug beans. Oh, and so like I couldn't find like, I could find small packages of some of the items, but not all. So um, I really hope we like this. Otherwise, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, one package of couscous brown rice went with jasmine. I don't really know what kind I will like. Um, the recipe just called for brown rice. Then black turtle beans. I don't really know if these are different, but um, yeah, black turtle beans. That's what the recipe called for versus black beans. Then green lentils, navy beans, and then pearl barley. I um, picked up two by mistake. I think I thought I didn't find it. And when I did find it, I put another package in already having one. There were two items. On the recipe I just couldn't find today, so um, I'll just make it with this. Okay, uh, red wine vinegar, canola oil, and turmeric. Also, I had to pick up for some of these recipes. Then, all right, then over here, uh, tricolor tortellini. This bag is a huge bag, and it was just over $2 for some pasta salads. The Asian sesame dressing and three cheese ranch. They were on special today, just over $2. Then we need some more um, non-chocolate chip granola bars, but that Costco box that I bought is taking up so much room that I cannot fit another Costco box of non-chocolate chip granola bars into it. <laughs> so Super Store for $2.50 a box had um, the Natural Valley on sale, so almond and cashew. Uh, my little man, he needed a new toothbrush. This is $9.00. And then we're gonna have some um, chicken tacos this week. So, so tortillas and then some whole wheat bagels. Then from um, Shoppers Drug Mart. So they had a promotion. If you spend $40, you get 10,000 points. So my pure um, powder, it is $39. So in order to get the 40, I thought so I can get the 10,000 points, which is equivalent to $10. This bag of gummies was $1.19. I didn't, I didn't want to buy really anything, but I'm like, I definitely don't want to buy something over $5. So I get to the cash register, <laughs> I put this in and lo and behold, it's not $1.12. It is on sale for 99 cents. So my grand total came to $39 and 99 cents. So I did not get the promotion. So I'm like, ah, so I, then I quickly um, picked up another package of these so that I could get 10,000 points. <laughs> okay, from Costco, the three loaves of ancient greens bread, some baby naan bread to go with our chickpea butter chicken kind of recipe. I don't really know what to call it. Uh, the vitamin C chewables that we use were on sale for $10. So I picked up another one of those. I have been craving real peanut butter, real peanut butter. Yum, yum, yum. Picked it up today, $12. Then the Parmesan, $15. New to us at our Costco, these Bobos. I hope they're good. They're $17 a package. So that seems really expensive to me, but I hope they're good. A, we are almost out of our almonds, uh, $14. Then I'm completely out of uh, olive oil. This was $19. Then I picked up for the first time ever this organic plant-based protein for my husband. And it is $13 on sale. So it was just under $50 for the two kilogram um, bag of it. And then some Epsom salt, $10.
Well, that was a very long and crazy day. That grocery shop took us four hours to do today. It was madness. You know, in Superstore, the problem was is because all those new items that I purchased for the um, seven grain salad and some other, the new recipes, it took me a really long time to find the products because I don't normally purchase them. And some I had to actually ask for help from the workers to locate where they were. I'm like, where in the world is this pearl barley? And then you'd find out it was in the section you were just looking in and hunting in and you just, I just didn't see it. And then Costco, the parking was a lot. Um, a lot of people getting very impatient. Inside Costco wasn't actually too bad, but like Superstore, I think we waited in line to purchase our groceries. I think it would be at least 30 minutes. So that was, um, it was a lot and it was long, but my son, he did really well. Like. I'm really grateful I didn't have my two younger children with me because that would have been really, really hard. Because of the older kid, they can help you, but you also aren't worried about them getting lost or, you know, older children are more aware of their surroundings. So like bumping into people isn't gonna happen as much. But by the time I was done at Superstore, I was thinking to myself, sweet Jesus, I better love this salad and <laughs> it better be good because it's expensive to pick up all those items, but also just the time that it took um, to find them and then finding places to store all of them because they're just in bigger packages. I'm just like, oh my goodness, this better be worth it. I hope it is. I'm just trying to eat a little bit healthier and find some newer recipes. Like I know for me saying that I'm gonna go 100% plant-based or um, no processed food, it just is not realistic. I'm too old right now to know that if I just jump into it, that it's not sustainable. But maybe if I take baby steps there, I will have more success. So that's, that's my goal, to take baby steps to more plant-based eating and less proce processed eating but also get more variety because lots of the stuff that I make isn't processed, but I kind of get, you kind of get in your, your rut of your wheelhouse of what to make. So time will tell. I have been here before and haven't been very successful. So we'll just see if 2024 is the year. Time will tell. And on another note, am I the only person that's bugged to see Valentine's Day and Easter side by side in the aisles? I, in my mind, I cannot imagine how they're making a profit from it right now. Like I totally get, I totally get Christmas because also people send things away to other countries and um, Christmas is just a very big festive season. Uh, Valentine's Day is not, right? And Easter is, but Easter's a long ways away. And I'm like, you know, I would really appreciate just having at least two weeks break from trying to be sold the next holiday. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of tired of spending money. And we got plenty of treats to last us now, a really long time between the baking and all the chocolates and candies people were given for Christmas and in their stocking stuffers. Like, I can't be the only person out there that probably is chocolated out or has enough of a stash to last a long time that I'm not looking to purchase Easter chocolate right now. Mind a box of Valentine's Day chocolate. It just blows my mind. People complain with how early Christmas comes out, but okay, I went out between Christmas and New Year's and I saw the start of the Valentine's Day candy and the Easter candy and now it's just so much more abundant. And it, we didn't even have New Year's. like two weeks. You would think that they would actually sell more of health care products, like products for a new year. Like I know there are like protein powders and vitamins and weight loss stuff or exercise stuff in abundance, but there should be, you would think even more because most people are starting to feel all that fat, sugar, <laughs> and salt that they had for the last month, two weeks, two weeks, and then maybe bring it up. Anyways, okay, costs. So I 
can't remember what I spent the other day, so I won't do a grand total, but I do know that I spent um, 200 and $250 at Real Canadian Superstore. That's what I spent. I spent $250 at Real Canadian Superstore. I used 70 points. So 20 or yeah, $70 in points. Um, I got the 20,000 points the other day when I went shopping. And then for my um, shoppers drug mart uh, purchase, say 10,000 points on top of what I already had. I had 70,000 points of so $70 taken off my grand total today, which was great because of all those new products. So it came to, what was that? 180, $180 for a uh, real Canadian superstore this time around that I paid. And then Costco was like 340. No, no, no. Yes, it was. It was 340, but in there is a bunch of items I didn't show you for my husband, um, clothing wise. So take off $50 and that's what I paid for the product that you saw today. So it's big, but it's a big haul. It's a big stock up on lots of essentials, lots of produce. We need it. We need it a lot. As you can see, I have like fatigue, brain fog. Hopefully next week when you see me, I will be rested. Uh, these bags that are under my eyes, maybe a little bit smaller and I will be a, a I was going to say a quicker thinker, <laughs> a clear thinker, quicker talker. We'll see. All right, everyone. Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week.